Hi folks, this is Marty with HouseofArms.com. I'm here today to answer one of the most common questions I get on the phone. You as a customer have just received your frame and the question is, my hammer won't cock. So there are two reasons uh, why that usually takes place. I'm going to walk you through those step by step so you have a better understanding and you can actually test the frame yourself to make sure that it's, it's functioning properly. The two most common problems are there's not a barrel in place uh, which is required. There's an interlock in it, which is a safety feature uh, that won't allow the hammer to cock unless there's a, a, a barrel in place. Um, and with that, there's a locking lug at the bottom of the barrel. Okay, And its function is to lock the barrel in place. And I'm going to snap it there. And it go, when it goes underneath that firing pin shelf, it trips, it trips the interlock. Okay, And the interlock if you um, take your uh, left index finger as you're holding the frame in your right hand and you go to the passenger side and then the firing pin wall, that back corner, drop your finger down in there, you'll feel that button, that cam. It pushes back. As soon as you push that back, the hammer will cock, okay? Now, try to always let the hammer off slowly uh, instead of dry fairing, that's best for your firearm. The second reason why your hammer won't cock, typically, is that you're missing some of the washers. Now when I provide the frame bolts for these, I provide a quarter inch lock washer and two standard thickness quarter inch flat washers, okay? And that's the perfect length. When you screw that up through the bottom uh, into this shaft and uh, it goes up through your buttstock and, and goes in place, just a good firm um, a tightness is good. Don't go gorilla hands on it because you can actually tighten it too far. Um, but the reason that those washers are important is it limits how far that quarter 20 thread will go up into that shaft. And that shaft isn't just for the uh, frame bolt. That shaft is also sharing that shaft is the hammer strut. comes down, there's a spring through there, and so that is absolutely required. And if, so if this goes up in there too far, if this goes up in there too far, it stops the hammer strut from being able to come down and prohibits the hammer from cocking. So if this, is, if this video has been helpful for you, uh, and, or if it would be helpful to your friends as well, be sure to, to like it and share it with them as needed and um, uh, comment on it. Also, if you have any ideas just like this, it would be helpful, helpful for the, uh, the rest of the TC followers. Feel free to share those experiences with us as well. This is Marty with HouseOfArms.com. Have a great day.